NC70 Buskavica has joined Super Test. But I think this tank underperforms a little bit. On the test server, we can also try new kill camera with the detailed information on the kill and free camera once you are killed. I will show you about this later in the video. NC70 Bliskavice has a lot of unique advantages, as such having the highest shell velocity on premium APC around in an entire game at 2000 kilometers per second. We also have brand new game mechanic. The closer you are to the enemy, the higher the damage that you are doing. And at 50 meters, you can do up to 800 damage. And if you are lucky enough with the 25% RNG, you can do even 1000 damage. This tank has impressive armor. 200 millimeter armor plate on the front turns into 350 of effective armor when you're using your gun depression. Meaning that even if enemies is using gold, reliably you are only going to be getting panned by tier 10 tank destroyers using gold rounds. NC-70 Bliskavica has 45 km per hour top speed without turbo, meaning that it can go faster than most of the heavies. And you want to be fighting heavies with this vehicle because they have HP and you have armor. And I would like to point out standard penetration on APCR rounds. This tank has 292 millimeters of pen, meaning that for all fr the free to play players, this tank is going to be perfect to play with because it has armor, it's very forgivable, and you don't have to shoot as much gold. But NC-70 Bliskavica comes with a little bit of uh, disadvantage. And one of them being only 10 degree gun arc. 5 degree to the left and 5 degree to the right. And it makes it difficult to peek around the corners, for example, if you're playing in the city. Because you are going to expose half of your tank. Also, whenever you have to aim outside of this uh, gun arc, your tank will love to take time aiming. And I would describe Bliskavica gun as derpy and not suited for sniping at all, despite the fact that we have the highest shell velocity on premium ammunition. So for the Bliskavica, you want to be in close combat, but whenever you have to peek around the corners, it's going to be a little bit tricky. It's interesting that our tank can do up to 800 damage in close combat when we are 50 meters or closer to the enemy but it only have 85mm caliber gun and the sound of this gun is same as on tier 6 Halkett, for example. It makes it a little bit less exciting to play and I really hope that for gaming will introduce new sound for the gun. I don't know, like, it just feels cheap and doesn't excite me when I'm doing 800 damage with this thing. So maybe something like whistling or Something new, using guns, sound that already exists, just doesn't fit. It is important to mention that this vehicle is subject to change. It's just on the test server and it is the first time we are playing with it. Maybe based on the player's feedback, our gaming is going to change some aspects of the tank. Or maybe it is going to be available just like this in a live server. We do not know. But if it comes in configuration as it is now, I think it is going to be new meta tier 10 tank destroyer. And uh, having three of those in the platoon is going to bring insane win rate. Just imagine that we are playing in the t tank destroyer platoon against other tank destroyers like Grille or STRV, maybe FV or Jack Panther and this tank goes 50 km per hour, destroy your heavy tanks because it has uh, around 5000 DPM if uh, you are extremely close. And with three of those tanks, it's gonna be spicy guys. But once again, it's not final, we do not know how it's going to be and hopefully after watching this video you will get an idea what this tank is uh, all about 
and uh, you're gonna go on test server and try it yourself. Enjoy the video. I'm I'm getting it day one. I think we need to push. Like, this is the most branded gameplay ever. This is BZ176, but on maximum uh, ability. Oops. He doesn't know. Don't I have like faster reload than this guy? What? For rent? I think we're gonna open a couple more clans. I mean, we, at least we will try. Like, we need, we need people we can trust and people who want to be taking care of the clan, building up stronghold and community. And we can, like, as soon as we have someone we can trust, because we are entrusting our brand, you know, our name. As soon as we have someone like that, we open it immediately. Uh oh. Bro! I'm dead. I think this tank is gonna be meta. I think this tank is a meta, guys. Okay, we're clicking space. No, why did I... Why did I click space? I got baited, bro. Wait, can I click? Yo! Bro. What they need to introduce is coaching. Oh my god! Imagine coaching. 
And you like, and you as a coach, you joined battle, and you just spectating, and you like, okay, go in this bush. Okay, now I want you to move, like, you know. Bro, what are you doing? They're gonna regret so much. Like, Bosch will never be able to pen me. Maybe K91? Mm -hmm. I use vents on this thing. But I think Vance is waste. I think I need to be using improved aiming. Like, you are already very accurate. But I think you can be even more accurate. Yo, Storm Carms, thank you. Thank you, bro. This is this is new OP thing, guys. I think uh, like Ducky is gonna be doing like six Ks with it on average. <laughs> Storm Carms, thank you, yeah. Guys, it's it's I think it's OP. Yeah, improved aiming, NVH chilling. Can you try one HE? Why? <laughs> she doesn't know. Finally, I can share it. Dan's game took 24 hours. <laughs> Thank you, clown. Thank you for the tier 3. Like, there is no point of using uh, HE. Unless you're shooting Gorilla. I think this tank is OP, guys. Like, it's, it's insane. Nika Diablo, that's what I said. Okay, now we are full down. Yeah, heat rounds, by the way, guys. <laughs> Good luck, boys. Oh. Good luck. Good luck winning this ridge line. Like, if I... I can pen his flaps. <laughs> Dude, this is stupid. 
Wait, why did they left me? Yo! Everything is under control, boys. Mom, 900! I mean, I cannot run. And I cannot turn! No! <laughs> Why did they left me? Space, advanced mode. Okay, I can see where he shot me exactly. And then what? can look around. Okay. Oh, yeah. Average penetration. Distance. Okay. Yo, what? 247 millimeters impact armor. 190 nominal armor plus 57 armor gained by the slope. Penetration angle is 40. Non-penetration angle is 66. Auto ricochet angle is 85. Average damage to, dealt to my uh, tank is 1,036. Average damage of the tank is 1,050. Uh, minus 14 damage lost due to damage randomization. Gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this video. And just before you go, I would really like to hear your opinion about this new NC-70 Viskovica. As for me, tanks seem incredibly strong and it doesn't have obvious weak spots. So what do we guys think? Is it going to be good for the randoms or is it going to destroy it entirely? I'm going to read every single cut every single of your answers thank you for your time and we're gonna see you on the next upload have an amazing day and bye.